Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Some microwave oven repairs will require you to disassemble the appliance. Because of the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens, please be aware that this appliance poses a substantial risk for injury or death if precautions are not taken. You should always unplug the microwave before you attempt any disassembly. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. To gain access to components like the cavity light and fuse, you will need to remove the grill, open the microwave door, remove the screws on top securing the grill, and lift it off. On some models, you will need to slide the grill to the left to release it. If you need to access components behind the control panel, you can now remove the screws securing the panel. Then move the panel to the side or lift it up to release. To reach the fuse on some models, you may need to remove a secondary grill. When the repair is complete, replace and secure the secondary grill, if necessary. Align the tabs on the control panel with the slots in the frame and push the control panel into position. Replace the screws securing the panel. Reposition the grill. And reinstall the screws. To access the handle screws or door latches, insert a putty knife under the inside edge of the interior door trim and gently pry the trim off. When the repair is complete, align the trim and snap it back into place. To access the light sockets or turntable motor, remove the screws on the bottom of the appliance to release the bottom panel. In order to remove the main cover of the microwave, you will first need to disconnect the wire connectors from the light sockets and detach the bottom panel completely. Next, you will need to uninstall the microwave. This will require two people. Have an assistant support the microwave while you remove the mounting bolts from the upper cabinet. Carefully tilt the microwave down and pull the power cord through the hole in the cabinet. Now lift the microwave off the rear mounting bracket and set it on a sturdy surface resting on a towel or blanket. Remove all the screws securing the cover. You can now pull the cover back and off. When the repair is complete, reposition the cover by aligning the top edge first. Then push the sides forward, making sure the tabs on the frame slide into the slots on the sides of the cover. Replace the screws to secure the cover. Now carefully reposition the microwave on the mounting bracket by hooking the back edge of the appliance on the bracket tabs. Insert the power cord through the hole in the upper cabinet. Lift the microwave up and secure the mounting bolts. Reattach the bottom panel. Reconnect the wires to the light sockets and secure the wires as required.
Lift the panel into position and secure the screws. With the microwave fully reassembled, you're ready to plug it back in and confirm that the appliance is functioning properly.